I, just, I think it's sad. I mean, I can't believe something like that happened, but I mean, it's just sad. A neighbor asking us not to identify her, speaking on a weekend tragedy in her Dundalk community. An argument turning into a scuffle and then a stabbing death. 16-year-old David Thomas III charged with manslaughter and the killing of his mother's boyfriend. During a bail review, the prosecution and defense both calling this a unique case. It's uh, not the usual thing that uh, the prosecutor and the defense are on the same side of the street, but, but we are in this case. Leading Judge Leo Ryan to release the teen on his own recognizance after learning Thomas attended Aberdeen High School, had a job at a pizza shop, and had never been in trouble before. I don't want to um, make light of anyone's passing, but in this case, it's clear that the decedent was the initial aggressor, and, and frankly, he remained the aggressor throughout this until there came a point in time when I think this young man um, uh, decided to defend not only his mother, but himself at this point. His mother, Tabitha Hall, and other family members at Towson District Court to show support declined comment. In Dundalk, remnants of crime tape still at the scene. 35-year-old Richard Zenobia fatally stabbed Saturday evening in the backyard of his home in the 3300 block of North Point Road. According to a court charging document, this began as an argument between Zenobia and his girlfriend, Thomas's mother. The boyfriend asked the girlfriend to leave. The defense attorney says it turned physical when Zenobia punched Thomas in the face, knocking the teen down and then jumping on him. The two struggled in the yard and investigators say Thomas pulled a knife that had about a four inch blade. Ironically, it was given to him as a gift uh, at, at Christmas, uh, I think a post-Christmas gift that he had just received. So it wasn't that the young man came there armed to do harm. He just had it, he was just given it, and uh, it's a very sad case all around. Now because of the circumstances, as the case moves forward, the defense is hoping to get a resolution without going to trial. Reporting live from Towson, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.